You are given the following data about A, B and C who are partners in a firm. The particulars are that A, B and C have an existing profit sharing ratio of 5 is to 4 is to 3. Right? Z was added as a partner who acquired one third share in the firm. Share of B would remain unchanged. Find the new profit sharing ratio. Now this question is a little different vis-a-vis -vis what you have done till now. Okay. How? Because let's say for example you had three people A, B and C and their existing profit sharing ratio or the EPSR is equal to 5 is to 4 is to 3. The sum of these three, 5 plus 4 plus 3 gives you 12 or 5 upon 12, 4 upon 12 and 3 upon 12. Right? Now, you are told that there's new gentleman D who comes in. Okay? And we are supposed to find the new profit sharing ratio here. This guy D who's dropped in, actually this is not D, it's Z. Z was added as a partner who acquired one third share in the firm. So he's got a profit share of one third in the firm. Right? The other thing you are told about is that the share of B would remain unchanged, which means that this guy is going to have 4 upon 12, which is nothing but another one third share in the new partnership ratio as well. Right? Now three partners were there, one of them did not lose out anything which means that the share which Z has acquired has come one from C and second from A. The question is in what ratio? Okay. But interestingly we don't have any clues in the question as to how will this share which has come in here is to be reduced from both of them. Under such circumstances, what we do is that we assume that both of them have contributed this share in the proportion in which they were already sharing their profits. Right? Now, after giving one third away, okay, to D, to Z, sorry, and one third to B, what is the remaining share which is left? The remaining share. left is equal to 1 minus 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 3. This is the share of Z. This is the share of B. Right? Or 1 minus 2 upon 3 which is 1 upon 3. I've done this calculation a little too quick. You can just do it because it's a fraction. So it's a simple exercise that you can, you can do it. Right? So one third of the share belongs to A and C. Now in what ratio? This ratio is nothing but the ratio in which they were sharing their profits earlier, which is 5 is to 3. Right? So this profit belongs to only A and C in the ratio of 5 is to 3. Or we can say 5 upon 8 and 3 upon 8. So A will get 5 upon 8 into 1 upon 3, which is 5 upon 24. C will get 3 upon 8 into 1 upon 3, 1 upon 8. Right? You must be wondering why did I take the denominator as 8? Now once B is out of picture, what we need to see is what is the ratio of A is to C. Initially when I took this 12, I was taking the ratio for A, B and C. All the three of them taken together. So I added 5 and 4 and 3. But now this one third actually just belongs to A and C who happen to be sharing this profits in the ratio of 5 is to 3. So we distribute this between them in the ratio of 5 by 8 and 3 by 8, which is this. Now if I pick up all these four green circle I get 5 by 24, 1 by 3, 1 by 8 and 1 by 3. In order to convert them into like fractions which means that you know the denominator is common we'll take the LCM of these four. LCM 24, 3, 8, 3. 
थ्री एट वन एट वन एट सो एट बाई थ्री गिवज यू ट्वेंटी फोर सो विल कन्वर्ट ऑल ऑफ दम इन सच अ मैनर दैट द डिनोमिनेटर इज ट्वेंटी फोर हेयर इट इज ऑलरेडी देर सो आई डोंट नीड टू डू एनीथिंग हेयर इफ आई मल्टीप्लाई बोथ द न्यूमरेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर बाई एट आई विल गेट एट बाई ट्वेंटी फोर हेयर थ्री बाई ट्वेंटी फोर अगेन एट बाई ट्वेंटी फोर सो द न्यू रेशो इज गोइंग टू बी फाइव इज टू एट इज टू थ्री इज टू एट विच इज द आंसर right so we always prepare this data in this format okay and try to plug in the relevant things and just get the answers